Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Friday. Today I'm reading Leo the Lightning Bug. This is a fiction story. It is not true, but it's a fun story. So this one is written by Eric Drockman, illustrated by James Muscarello. Leo the Lightning Bug. <clears throat> Leo was a lightning bug. He was a little lightning bug. In fact, he was the littlest lightning bug of all and the lightning bugs he knew. He was littler than Larry and Lester. He was even littler than Louise, who wasn't a very big lightning bug herself. Leo, Leo, even my name is small, cried Leo. Oh no, Leo, not at all, explained his mother. The name Leo means lion. Inside, you're as big and brave as a lion. And as she said this, her lightning bug lit up brightly. But I can't even make a light like Larry or Lester or even Louise. You will, darling. With a little time and practice, you'll light up with a lovely yellow lightning bug light. Leo's mother kissed her little lion, turned on his nightlight, and closed his door. But not all the way, of course. I'm no lion, thought Leo, but I guess I'll keep trying. The very next night when the sun went down, Leo found a cozy clearing where he could pra pra practice in private. The moonlight twinkled on the tops of the trees and the sound of crickets filled the warm summer air. Leo took a deep breath in, let it out, and went to work. He started off with a little squeeze, no light, then a push, no light. Then a big oomph. Still no light. I love his faces on all of these. He really is trying hard. Hmm, maybe with a running start, thought Leo. And he flew all the way back to the edge of the clearing. Meanwhile, Larry, Lester, and Louise had discovered Leo's not-so-private practice place. They ducked behind a twig to watch and giggled at little Leo's efforts. Leo had his head down and was flapping his wings as fast as he could. When he reached the absolute top speed, he folded his wings, lifted his feet, and slid on his rear end. He clenched on all his toes, all six of his feet, and all six of his legs, because he's an insect, of course, so he has six. He squinched his face and on all his muscles and he squeezed. Look at his face. But looking down, Leo found nothing, not even a glimmer. Oh, he's so sad. He did hear something though. Larry, Lester, and Louise were out in the open now laughing loudly at Leo's light, or rather at his lack of light. Like almost all people and bugs and fish and animals of every kind, Leo did not like to be laughed at. His knees felt weak and his face felt hot and he just wanted to disappear. He flew and he flew as fast as his wings could go until he finally found a very dark cave where he could hide. Perfect, thought Leo. A lightless lightning bug deserves to be in the dark. And then he cried some more, and he sat there all alone. When Leo was finished being sad, he got angry. I'll never make a light, never make a light, never make a light. He yelled, and it echoed inside the cave. Oh, he's getting so frustrated. Leo sat in silence, wondering what to do, and then all of a sudden the cave echoed with a little time, 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 and practice, practice, practice. Practice, remembered Leo. That's what Mom had said. I have to practice, I have to practice, I have to practice. And he leapt up, and he flew out of the cave. Leo was so excited, he didn't even care about the storm now raging outside. And as he got tossed by the wind and splashed by the rain, he kept squeezing and pushing and squinching until finally 
see all his faces. They're so cute. Crack! The entire sky lit up with the, like daylight, and there was a crash, boom, ripping sound. Leo felt his whole little body tremble with the noise. The cricket stopped chirping and hid beneath the grass. Leo, who had never before made a little lightning bug light, thought he had made that bright light and that crashing sound. Can you see where the crickets are hiding? It was a little scary, but he tried it again, and it was fantastic! First, Leo's light lit up, his very own light, and then there was a bright flash in the sky and a big boom! Oh, he thinks that the lightning is something that he's created, and he's super happy. Wow, Mama's right! Inside, I am as big and brave as a lion. I could be king, king, king. Oh, he's even doing flips because he's so excited. King of the lightning bugs. And he danced a king of the lightning bugs dance. Oh, his face shows that he's happy now. When the rain let up and the clouds cleared away, Leo stopped laughing and dancing and he headed for home. Larry, Lester, and Louise were waiting for Leo just outside his house. We saw you in the woods, teased Louise, and the three of them burst out laughing. Because <laughs> boys and girls, all they remember is when he was trying. They don't know his little secret yet. Just then, the strangest thing happened to Leo, and actually didn't happen. Leo did not feel angry, or embarrassed, or scared, or anything. He had a lion inside of him. Yeah, Leo giggled. I guess I did look pretty funny. Hey everybody, look at me, I'm Leo, yelled Lester, flapping his wings and running in circles. Suddenly he tripped on one of his other feet and landed face first, right smack in front of Leo himself. When Lester looked up at Leo with a mouthful of dirt, Leo laughed so hard that his whole body shook. Louise and Larry were laughing too. And pretty soon, so was Lester. Look at poor Lester. He has that mouthful of dirt. When they finally settled down, Leo said, Good night, and opened the door to his house. Leo, coughed Lester. Leo, do you want to come play tomorrow? I like that, he smiled, and, and his yellow light lit up in the night. Hey, Leo, squealed Louise. Look, your light. Yeah. Leo smiled proudly, I know, and he went into the house. Later that night, when his mother came to tuck him in, Leo was glowing right through those covers. She smiled to herself and gave him a kiss. I'm so proud of you, she whispered. And Leo said, nothing, for he was already fast asleep. All right, boys and girls, why do you think Leo started to light up? What emotion was he showing when he lit up? Yeah, good job. All right, boys and girls, have a happy Friday.